That was a very nice introduction. I have a all friend, a lot of friends here, especially we already have to really you know, recognize our names. Thank you. I'm so good to see you. Really now. Long time I didn't see a lot of friends. Um, Sharon Camden from the Secretary, Jimmy Lee position. So we have a friend, friend governor, and governor Earl. So also county executive, thank you so much. I know this is a really good opportunity you know, for all our business, especially Asian business and commerce today. Good morning, everyone. I'm so happy to be here with you all of you today. Cindy, that was really wonderful. I should take you everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'd also like to recognize everyone who have organized this wonderful event to promote opportunity, education, strategies, alliance, and the small business school in our state. So I saw all Cindy and you know, Chinese or Asian all together, especially our small business, you know, all team here who attended here. Thank you so much. As the first Asian American First Lady in the history of Maryland, and the first Korean American First Lady in the United States, I'm very pleased to have the opportunity to speak to members of the Asian American Chamber of the Commerce. Your entire mission is to encourage economic development for Asian American on the business in Maryland and throughout our entire region. A mission that my husband, Governor Hogan, shares. Under his leadership, Maryland is now open for business. His entire administration is working hard to make it sure Small business grow and thrive, and Asian Americans are an important part of his efforts. For dedication, decades, Asian Americans have been among the best growing communities in the United States. You are make, making significant contribution to your communities and to our state's economy, and the U.S. success truly is also Maryland's success. One of a personal note as an Asian American immigrant myself, and as the mother of three daughters, I understand that the top priority for members of our community is making sure our children receive a good education and the opportunity to pursue an American dream. But just as important is making sure that good jobs are available to them after they receive the education. And I believe that we can strengthen their chance for success in the future by embracing our own heritage while working together with the many other diverse communities that make up great state. Also again, thank you for the inviting me this morning. It is my hope that today events providing opportunities for business to connect, in, interact with and learn more the Asian business community because we are us working together, we can continue to change Melon for better. Thank you. Thank you very much for those kind remarks. 
Uh, as I mentioned earlier this morning, <clears throat> the first uh, entity I thanked was Montgomery County. Well, just to give you a, a little idea, of, and again, I talked about relationships and how important they are. I work for Fairfax County, the Office of Public-Private Partnerships, and this happened because the Office